Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for war number 9 of season 50 for Alliance War. And this is my biggest and most important war of the entire season. And it will very soon make sense why. So for Loki against next here, the war is almost over. There's not that much time left in this war. I'm the only person in my alliance that hasn't joined yet. I have all the fights left on the map. BG1, BG2 are 100% cleared, BG3 is 89% cleared, and it's only my fights remaining. So my team is going to be Venom, Scorpion, and Kate. Venom and Scorpion have a really awesome synergy that benefits both of them greatly. So that's going to be really nice as war. And then we're bringing in Kate, and she has a very scary fight for me. So you can see all my fights there. That, that Destroyer, that's the fight I'm really scared about. Um, and then I have those mini bosses too, Mysterio, Kindred, and then the Bullseye boss. So I got a ton of fights and the score, we are one death apart right now. So if I don't die, we win. If I do die, we lose. It's pretty much that simple. It's do or die. So I'm going to be boosting up big you know as big as i possibly can i'm gonna be buying some cosmic boosts right now um i am going to be fighting a rank three bullseye war boss uh this war the last time i fought a bullseye boss he was a six star so it wasn't quite as big it's just gonna be more health now so i'm gonna be boosted i'm gonna use a special three greater defense boost 12 percent cosmic boost 150 percent cosmic power back boost just any and everything I can to give me the best advantage to clearing all these fights and not dying. So, up first we have a Guardian. So just a rank 2 Guardian, yeah, nothing crazy. He is tactic, but it's not too big of a deal. We're going to be going for some Venom. And so the Venom and Scorpion synergy, Venom's benefit from that is power gain buffs. That synergy... Basically, this is a little strong comparison, but that synergy basically makes Venom a pseudo Hyperion. Basically, with with all that power gain. Basically, every time Venom triggers a buff, he starts getting that power gain, and it's really, really nice. It's really powerful. Um, it's great. So here we're gonna om nom some of his buffs. Uh, without his armor, I believe Guardian doesn't have any bleed resistance. So without that, we can bleed him. Um, and yeah, he just drops very quick after that. Next fight, we have a OG Spider-Man rank 3. Someone in this next alliance took OG Spider-Man up to rank 3. Oh, I took mine to rank 2 because I really like Spider-Man. And uh, I was underwhelmed. I, uh, I would not want to take this guy to rank 3. E. But uh, yeah, Venom is going to be making pretty quick work of this Spider-Man. Going to be going for some Omnom here. Take some of those buffs, get a little bit of healing. I don't really want him to throw his special one. So I'm just going to push him to his special two. We'll Omnom a little bit more. Keep special one-ing. And he's dead before he can even throw a special. <laughs> Good old Venom. Of course, we got those deep wounds maxed out. I, should, I don't think I've changed my mastery since I changed them for that bullseye boss fight so i should whatever i had there i should still have all those masteries uh enabled now moving in section two we have a spider punk first which i'm not scared of at all this fight is irrelevant but the next fight the next fight has me quaking in my boots it's a destroyer and i'm scared i'm very scared honestly of that fight like i you know i have a mysterio a kindred mini boss a bullseye war boss not even scared about those. I'm just scared about the next fight, this destroyer. I was thinking about that destroyer fight a lot. And uh yeah, I'm really worried about it. But first here we have Spider Punk. So the reason Spider Punk is placed here is because if you try to intercept him, uh he hits you with a passive stun. He evades and hits you with a passive stun. But we got the clarity uh tactic up right now, so you'll see evade fail. That's that's garbage, isn't gonna work on us. Plus, uh, Venom, I don't think he can be evaded by Spider-Verse anyways, so that probably wouldn't do much to us. And then, boom, drop a fat special 2 here, and Spider-Punk's dead. Like, bruh, Venom, what an animal, dude. Jeez, that was 
That was satisfying. So now we get to this fight, though. It's the Big Bad Destroyer. So this is a 565 Ascended Destroyer. And I'm just making sure here, you know, that he doesn't have Cold Snap immunity. I know he doesn't, but, like, still. Still made sure. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to be going for the Cold Snap. And my plan here is to bait a special two. I, I need the bait one. I, I need, you know, the way Destroyer works is if he throws his special one three times, he's going to get a power gain and then go right to three bars. So you can't just bait his special one. Um, so I need to bait one special two here, at least. And so I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to push him to a special two. Get my cold snap up here. And here we go. And we full dex it. We full dex it, boys. Oh my god. Ooh. I was so scared. And now, I don't even need to push him to the, the special two anymore. Now we can bait special ones. It's fine. Uh, you can see he's dying pretty quick. That, and right there, I screw up, dude. I was... Oh my god. But luckily, evade, uh, Kate's evade you know, has our back. So we're knocking him down. So boom. That's his second special one. So as long as he doesn't throw one more... We're totally fine, you know? Right here, I accidentally switched my arrows, and then he throws the special, and I'm like, bruh. Quickly switch back to Cold Snap, and I just go for a full combo into my Relic, into a Heavy, into a special while he's crushed, and it's enough. Killed enough time for him to die there. Uh, he went red. You know, if I gave him a frame to throw a special, he absolutely would have, and we probably would have died. So, yeah, a little bit scary. Uh, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what happened. I think I didn't finish my combo and I just threw my special a tad prematurely and then he blocked. I think that's what happened. Um, so yeah, that was a little sketchy. It shouldn't have happened. You know, that fight should have been, after I dexed the special too, it should have been more seamless, but it doesn't matter. The fight I was most scared about, we got down without dying. That's what matters. All right. So it's all good. Next up, we are fighting a Penny Parker and some Odin pre-fights were, were placed on this so shout out to whoever placed those this war was a little while ago now so i don't exactly remember but uh now we've got all the odin stuff for the boss which is gonna definitely help there and yeah just odin pre-fights are appreciated the aptitude is for sure because you know once we get to our special two and we drop that you know all of our buffs convert into furies so the aptitude is going to make that stronger uh so yeah this fight is a little bit annoying it has one eyed open so we can't parry uh, and it also has ebb and flow knockdown uh or not ebb and flow knockdown some different type of knockdown i think but yeah i'm just using my special ones to get these knockdowns and it's working pretty well um she's building her charges and everything but with the clarity we never have to worry about being auto blocked so it's fine penny goes down no problem at all so now we move, and you can see there's less than one hour left now in war. So, you know, cutting it uh, a little bit to the wire. But now we move to all these mini mini boss fights and then the big bad boss. So up first, we have a rank three Mysterio. So I fought Mysterio uh, a few times already this season, but I don't think I've ever fought him here. Most of the fights have been on the next node, which I think the next one's harder. So I was thinking this was going to be an easy fight and uh, my plan here i think is just to go for a uh, an invulnerability boost and push him to push him red uh, i was reading the nose there it's making sure it's what i thought it is which is power efficiency which is essentially after mysterio throws a special he only loses half of his power which is different it's, it's, it's essentially power reserve but the attacker doesn't get the benefit only only the defender so here we're going to start the fight with a heavy attack to get him armor broken. And then we're going to go throw a little special one. Now we got clarity up and everything. We are big chilling. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be pushing him, pushing him red. Uh, I don't care. Uh, baiting special threes is the by far the best thing to do uh, against Mysterio. Because it does nothing. Uh, all it does is increase his attack. Which is nothing you know there's no negative side effect from the special three whereas the special one you know it gives him a window where you can attack him and the special two makes so you can miss uh and you know, like power during stuff especially does nothing just a lot of damage you know but if you have a way to mitigate the damage you're good so yeah i'm gonna retaliate with my special three here 
And, you know, I'm thinking, like, we're good. Like, this fight is over. It's going perfectly. My plan is working. I'm a genius, you know. We're good. Watch what's about to happen. That, that's why you don't get overconfident. He throws a special here, which I was not planning for. And look at how much block damage that did. That was ridiculous. Bro, what? I was not was not trying to bait that, you know, in the slightest. I was going to push him to another special three. Like, literally, no one asked you to throw that, Mysterio. I was not ready at all for that. But look how much damage that did. Like, that. that's just going to cost me, like, I don't know, 100,000 loyalty on potions because of that. Like... <laughs> Stupid Mysterio AI, bro. But whatever, it's fine. Again, as long as we don't die, that's what matters. So next up here, we have a Kindred. And this is what we brought Scorpion for. You know, the synergy was nice too, but this was this is his fight. So we're going to be going for the Rupture pre-fight. Um, and this node is a little bit annoying. We're not going to be able to parry stun at all. You know, Kindred can be a little bit scary for sure. Um, I don't fight Kindred a ton with Scorpion, and I definitely wouldn't say Scorpion's my best or favorite or most comfortable counter. Um, that is reserved for the Pig. I absolutely love using the Pig uh, against Kindred. And so this fight is a great example of do what you can. You know, you, you don't have to be the best player in the world. You don't have to do all the crazy little tricks, you know, in Alliance War at least. In Alliance War, I can take my time here, go slow and steady. You can see he got his 50 charges on me already. It's fine. We just slowly played it out, let it get off me while managing the brute force and the degen. Um, you know, I struggle to punish Kindred Special 1 with the pause. I can't really do it. It's fine. So I don't. Uh, you know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. That's definitely one of my weaknesses. So I, I don't worry about it. You know, I try my best to push Kindred to his special too um and if all of his charges get on me then you know i'm just gonna wait it out right there hit a clean little intercept just to push him to that special two and then boom get the pause right at 49 here which is perfect everything's going wonderfully here i am going to throw the special one because we're still going to get power uh from the node um so boom i was ready to throw my special one but not even needed kindred is dead just took that fight slow and steady did it my own way and we got it down uh scorpions uh side of the synergy there as well it just gives him more attack with his debuffs he gets some fury passives which is pretty nice for him as well but now we pull up to the big bad rank three bullseye war boss so this guy has close to a million health almost was it 891,000? i think let's see it again 899,000. so almost 900,000. A lot of HP. We are boosted to the moon right now. And then boom, the secret sauce, the invulnerability boost. That is the key to winning this fight. This this run, I'm gonna hide my webcam so you guys can just see Bullseye's power bar because it's, uh, it's a little crazy. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch his power bar here. So start of the fight, drop a little special one, trying to get the clarity up. So that you know bullseye can't evade us so boom now that that's up we are absolutely good to go just throwing some special ones here uh you know i'm nomming any of the physical or energy resist buffs and then here boom get to my special two and pop it you know it does some good damage right bullseye starting to get close to his special three so you know i'm just gonna full send it I'm going to go full combo relic another full combo into another special two you know watch this Bullseye doesn't want to throw it. So, okay. Now I'll throw a special one. Let's see if he throws it now. Oh, he still doesn't want to throw it. Okay. I'll just kill him. And... No. <laughs> I will not kill him. Now he throws it. Dude, we, we almost kill a rank 3 Bullseye without him even throwing a special. Like, what? And now... He's dead. You know, it wasn't the full yellow bar we had on the first Bullseye boss. But honestly, I think this one was better. Like, pretty crazy, man. But yeah, Venom is just so good for fighting Bullseye war bosses uh, this season. This tactic, you can see the f this final score there, 7-6. to six. And there was a lot of people watching. I had no idea so many people were watching. Um, but the chat just started getting flooded. Uh, because, you know, that means we won the war. Me soloing that boss means the war is won. So... Yeah, this was my biggest war of the season by far. 
by a country mile. Uh, and this would have been our first ever loss as well. We've been flawless so far up until this point in the season. This marks nine wins. Uh, and we did catch the dub. So GG's to next. Super duper close war. But uh, yeah, I'm fine with pressure. When my back's against the wall, that's when I play my best. We managed to pull out the dub. Yeah, we're getting so close to Masters. Almost there. A couple more wars for the rest of the season. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy. Peace.